Unbelievable. Elon Musk has just revealed a brand new rocket engine that's not only more powerful, but also 10 times cheaper than SpaceX's Merlin 1D. It's called the Raptor 4, and it could change everything we know about space travel, making a ticket to Mars as affordable as a plane ride here on Earth. So, what exactly makes the Raptor 4 so revolutionary? And when will it finally make its debut? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. One thing many people don't realize, SpaceX didn't become the world's top private space company by luck. One of their biggest advantages is a relentless drive for innovation and breakthrough technology. Take Starship, for example. Before version 3 had even flown, SpaceX was already rolling out plans for Starship version 4, a model that's not just visually different, but also significantly more powerful. And it's not just the rocket itself. The upgrades run hand in hand with their engines. Raptor 3 hadn't even flown yet. Still in testing, when Raptor 4 was already fully designed and quietly under development. And this isn't speculation. The man himself, Elon Musk, revealed it. On November 3rd, Musk shared a rare insight on X, saying, Raptor 3 will probably be two to four times better than Merlin in dollars per ton of thrust, and will exceed Merlin in thrust to weight ratio. Raptor 4 should beat Merlin by more than 10 times in dollars per ton of thrust, with further improvement in thrust to weight ratio and specific impulse. A company leader like Elon Musk, of course, knows his engines inside and out. From the information he's shared, we can start to see just how revolutionary Raptor 4 could be. First off, Musk highlights that the cost per ton of thrust is a key metric for evaluating an engine's economic efficiency. Take Merlin, the engine currently powering Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Merlin, the engine powering Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, is already optimized for low cost. But Raptor 3 promises to be two to four times cheaper, if Merlin costs around $1 million per ton of thrust. Raptor 3 could bring that down to somewhere between $250,000 and $500,000 per ton. And Raptor 4 takes it even further, with Musk saying the cost could be as low as roughly $100,000 per ton, making it three to four times cheaper than Raptor 3. To put that in context, imagine SpaceX using Starship version 4 to transport people and cargo to Mars. This version would use nine Raptor 4 engines, three sea level, and six vacuum optimized. Each Raptor 4 produces roughly 300 to 330 tons of thrust, giving a total of about 2,700 to 2,970 tons combined. That's more than enough power to deliver 100 tons of cargo to Mars. The challenge, however, is that Starship would still require around five in-orbit refuelings, which, of course, adds extra cost. But if we look purely at the engines, things get interesting. With nine Raptor 4s generating nearly 3,000 tons of thrust, the cost per ton of thrust drops sharply to around $100,000, as Musk mentioned. That puts the total propulsion system at roughly $300 million for a 100-ton Mars mission, a surprisingly small number. But that's only the cost of the engines on a single Starship upper stage. Once you add in the fuel, the vehicle manufacturing, and the ground operations, each Mars mission could easily climb into the multi-billion dollar range. Still, even when looking at just this dollar per ton of thrust metric, the leap from Raptor 3 to Raptor 4 is staggering. This single improvement could shave hundreds of millions of dollars off every Mars mission. Multiply that across dozens of flights, and the savings become astronomical. That's why Raptor 4 isn't just an upgrade. It's a true breakthrough over Raptor 3. Oh, wait a second. How do we even know that Raptor 4 will have around 300 tons of thrust? Well, that's also from Elon Musk himself. And what's interesting is, he actually mentioned it as far back as late 2024. He said, when Raptor reaches 300 tons of thrust at liftoff, which Raptor 3 can probably do, certainly Raptor 4 will, then it will have 10,000 metric tons of thrust at liftoff, which is 22.5 million pounds force, almost exactly three times Saturn V inches. To be honest, if Musk was being modest with that number, it wouldn't be surprising, because with 33 Raptor 4 engines, the actual total thrust could come close to 11,000 tons. That's right, not only more efficient, but also about 16% more powerful than Raptor 3. And it's not just about raw power. SpaceX is also aiming to improve every other performance metric. Back in August, Musk said that Raptor 3 
and the vacuum variant of Raptor 4, with its oversized nozzle, could reach a specific impulse of 380 seconds. Meanwhile, Raptor 3's chamber pressure is already expected to hit 350 bar, the highest among any operational engine today. Raptor 4 might push that limit even further. Another major advantage of Raptor 4 will be simplicity. With Raptor 3, SpaceX already made a big leap in reducing complexity by integrating or eliminating many small, failure-prone parts. Raptor 4 is expected to push that even further. A cleaner, more compact design doesn't just make the engine more reliable, it also shortens production time and cuts costs dramatically. These refinements directly address the issues that plagued Raptor 2, minimizing the risk of failures under extreme conditions. Meanwhile, the cooling system, already improved in Raptor 3, will be fine-tuned again for Raptor 4, helping it withstand intense heat and pressure, while boosting both durability and efficiency. With every generation of Raptor, SpaceX moves closer to its ultimate goal, and Raptor 4 might just be the engine that finally makes true interplanetary missions possible. One of the most groundbreaking changes in this pursuit of simplicity lies in manufacturing. SpaceX is phasing out flanges and bolts, components that are prone to leaks and mechanical wear, and replacing them with fully welded joints. This approach creates stronger, leak-resistant connections while reducing weight and overall system complexity. By removing hundreds of small parts and unnecessary subsystems, each engine becomes significantly lighter. Those flanges and bolts don't just add mass, they also trap heat, reducing performance. Thanks to increased reliability, SpaceX has even eliminated the traditional heat shield on Raptor 3, something Elon Musk proudly showed off in a recent presentation. And the numbers tell the story. The original Raptor 1 weighed around 2 metric tons, Raptor 2 dropped to 1.6 tons, and Raptor 3 came in at just 1.525 tons. We don't yet know the exact figure for Raptor 4, but it's safe to say it'll be even lighter and more efficient. When you multiply that weight reduction across dozens of engines on each launch vehicle, the difference becomes massive. A lighter vehicle means better performance, a crucial factor for those ambitious missions to the Moon and Mars. That push for simplicity has also led to a massive increase in production speed. Back in the early days, it took around 11 days to build a single Raptor 1 engine. That was cut down to just two days with Raptor 2, and eventually only one day. With its cleaner and more efficient design, Raptor 3 is expected to push that even further. It might not have reached peak production speed just yet, but the acceleration is obvious. By May, the 20th Raptor 3 had already been spotted, less than a year after the first one debuted in August. That pace is only going to improve as SpaceX ramps up its manufacturing facilities. Supporting that momentum, SpaceX confirmed that Raptor 3 engines have now completed over 6,000 hot fire tests accumulating more than 40,000 seconds of runtime at the company's McGregor test site. This progress is crucial for SpaceX's vision of launching Starship at a high cadence. A simpler design directly translates to less post-flight maintenance. Fewer parts mean fewer potential failure points, which in turn allows for faster turnaround times, something absolutely essential if Starship is ever going to achieve full reusability and rapid launch frequency. Right now, the record for reusability stands at three flights with the Raptor VI 2-314, also known as the Raptor PI. But future versions are expected to go far beyond that as the technology matures. Another major outcome of this simplification is cost reduction. Operations and maintenance become faster and more efficient, while production costs drop dramatically. Current estimates put the price of a single Raptor engine at $1 to $2 million, already quite low by aerospace standards. But Raptor 3 could bring that number down to as little as $600,000, or even $500,000 per engine. That combination of low cost and high performance makes the Raptor line stand out across the entire industry. And if Raptor 3 is any indication, Raptor 4 will take that even further. A fully integrated, no-nonsense design that's lighter, more reliable, faster to build, and requires minimal maintenance. Each new generation of Raptor proves just how powerful the simplify-everything philosophy can be. As Musk often says, the best part is no part. And that mindset doesn't just apply to engines or rockets. It runs through every level of SpaceX's engineering and operations. This pioneering approach has left competitors trailing behind. 
Take Blue Origin's BE4, for example. It also runs on methane and boasts around 250 tons of thrust, slightly higher than Raptor 2, but in every other metric, it's simply not keeping up. The debut of Raptor 3 made that comparison feel outdated, and with Raptor 4 on the horizon, the gap is only expected to widen even more. So, the biggest question now is, when will the Raptor 4 finally make its debut? Well, as of now, the Raptor 3 is still in full-scale production. Recently, more and more Raptor 3 engines have been spotted on trucks leaving McGregor, heading straight for Starbase. That's a clear sign. SpaceX is ramping up engine deliveries, at least 39 units, to Power Booster 18 and Ship 39, both of which are being assembled at a remarkable pace. Soon, both stages will be fully equipped, paving the way for the first ever flight of the Starship version 3 with Raptor 3 engines, expected in early next year. Now, if history is any guide, every new Raptor generation has emerged roughly 18 months after the last one's first flight. That means, by mid-2027, or even earlier, we could witness SpaceX releasing a test video of the brand new Raptor 4. A late 2027 launch timeline fits perfectly, since Elon Musk himself once hinted that Starship V4 could fly around that same year. This isn't just a wild guess, it's a logical estimate based on SpaceX's mission roadmap. By 2028, SpaceX is expected to complete its first crewed lunar landings under NASA's Artemis program. And after those historic milestones, the company will need a far more capable version of Starship. One powerful enough to carry larger crews and heavier cargo, as SpaceX begins building a sustainable lunar base. That time frame also aligns with Musk's long-term vision for Mars. According to him, this will be the period when SpaceX starts deploying the first systems on the Martian surface, following successful demonstration missions that prove Starship can safely reach and land on the Red Planet.